What up, y'all? Creeper here, aka Wax Skellington, bringing you today's edition of Juggalo Shit. And today, for the first time on Juggalo Shit, we're gonna get into some actual bona fide, genuine, certified Juggalo Shit. Because the show is called Juggalo Shit, and I haven't actually touched on any Juggalo related topics until now. I fucked a turkey. For sure, I fucked a turkey. But I haven't actually talked about the, the fineries of the Juggalo culture. So we're going to kick that off with a discussion about Fago. Everybody knows Fago. It's this sticky, sweet, soda-y substance that we throw at each other and we bathe in. And uh, people call it the Juggalo baptism. I mean, I don't remember actually being baptized by the shit. I got wet. I got sticky. I like the smell of old root beer in my hair. It's kind of like a weird combination of spice dermal oil and poop anyway uh so my personal favorite is the fago cola and i'm kind of a survivor of the cola wars i know what the fuck i'm talking about see because growing up to me it was always like team pepsi versus team coke and i'm a straight up cola dude like i'll find the most obscure like caleb's cola or jones's soda the real obscure shit i'll seek that out and go for that kind of cola flavor to me, Fago Cola is like the perfect, it hits right in the middle of those two big soda giants. So to me, it actually offers the best flavor. I do like Rock and Rye, but I can't fucking find it anywhere. So I went down to a few retailers uh, trying to ask questions about Fago Soda. And I'm not going to lie, y'all, it turned out whack as fuck. I'm going to show you the footage, but honestly, I didn't know what the fuck I'm doing. Clearly, I'm not a cameraman. I was trying to be sneaky with it, and I didn't get the kind of reactions I like. I'm going to include them anyway uh, in here anyway for flavor and shit, but it was pretty whack. Anyway, uh, shouts out to the 20 subscribers that I got. Like, damn, dog. Like, for real, I love y'all for that because I wouldn't expect anybody to actually become a repeat customer of my dumb shit. So props to y'all for that. Uh, other fresh Juggalo news. Motherfucking Year of the Sword dropped yesterday. So we're going to get into that for a little bit. Basically, it was a mixtape. You know what I mean? It was a lot of hype surrounding it. And it was kind of the final product, I feel like, was just okay. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot to like about the album. And if you're fans of any, any of the MNE artists, I recommend you go and cop that shit. But to me... I don't know, there was just something a little bit lacking, like, uh, definitely Gmo flexed his skills, ROC was pretty impressive, Blaze seems to be stepping his game up, you know, I mean, Lex is always a beast, and of course you got Lars, you know, there's nothing that could be said about Lars that isn't already spoken for by virtue of their own talents, and Gorilla Voltage specifically really impressed me, um, I, I, I think it's kind of strange having, like, an MC who's such a beast, such as Lex the Hexmaster, being immediately followed on a track by somebody like Bones Dub, who is, to put it nicely, not the same caliber of MC, you know? I mean, opinions are like assholes and all that, but I feel like, I feel like I'm not wrong on this. So it's actually a little bit jarring to have him follow up Lex on a track. I don't know. Go listen to this shit yourself and you tell me what your opinion is. Another, before I get into it, man, I promised myself when I did this channel, I wasn't going to fucking turn it into a, a discussion about beef. And I'm not, you know, I'm not out here trying to be TMZ and, and get everybody all polarized with opinions and shit. But I got it just because it keeps coming up, dog. The sneak dissing, man. The sneak dissing is just like, it, it's kind of tiring, don't you think? And I feel like anybody who's going to, you know exhaust the the time that it takes to go into a record on some sneak dish shit uh you could you could definitely just start saying names and maybe put it all in one track and fucking flame the shit out of some people it's because trust us for people who don't have a personal stake in this shit the fans are the ones who win you know what i mean there's nothing fucking better than having two of your favorite mcs roast each other you know what i mean but the sneak dissing is just kind of like uh now i gotta take the time to fucking figure out what the fuck he's saying and what's this a reference to and blah 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 that's assuming you give a shit you know you could just let the fucking track play but most people you know because it is kind of like everybody's curious everybody wants to know let's let's be honest it's a guilty pleasure thing so they they want to listen um 
But to me, you lose you lose your fucking Machiavelli card. Anybody who makes that, for one thing, calling yourself or comparing yourself to Tupac, if you're a rapper, is played the fuck out. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter who the fuck you are. Stop saying you're Tupac. Stop saying you're Biggie. You're neither one of those motherfuckers because you still have a pulse. Uh, but at the same time, also, if you're the kind of MC who you're not, you know, you don't want to feel, make your fan base feel uncomfortable by saying names, so you'd rather do sneak disses, then you lose your Machiavelli privileges, you know what I mean, like, if you can't, if you can't call out people by names and come at shit with that same amount of fucking, like, fury and fire and all that shit, then you can't say, oh, I'm, I'm like Machiavelli, I'm the new Machiavelli, you're not the fucking new Machiavelli, you're, you're the guy in the Machiavelli hat, you know what I mean, and what, uh, anyway, I digress, uh, motherfucking, I guess we're gonna get into this shit, like I said, it's fucking whack, uh, <laughs> so you can just watch this shit, I, I mean, I, I make no promises about it being good, stay tuned, uh, hopefully next week it isn't gonna suck, I'll get into some genuine shit, so, uh, peace, deuces, good night, I love you, uh, fuck off. Oh, hell yeah. Got the selection here. Got the root beer and the raspberry, the ginger ale, cotton candy, cream soda, and even the Hawaiian label. Alright, let's see which one I want. Oh shit, we mess, give me that. Oh, uh, credit. Oh, over here. Alright, we're. Yeah. Believe it or not, you know, I, uh, I actually pay. Two middle-aged grown men to put on makeup and throw that stuff at me. It's true. Yeah, I really do. I, re I hand to God, I do. I know it's strange, isn't it? Uh, oh, do you, are you guys hiring? Oh, all right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Bam! Definitely need that in my life. Fuck some red pop. Some black cherry top. What's up, boss? How you doing, though? Just taking some of these. Good deal. Good idea. So, believe it or not, you know, I actually pay two grown middle aged men to paint their faces and throw this at me. True, I really do. Oh, David. Yeah, David. Okay. We back up again. See. Today I'm feeling some ginger ale. Let me get a little root. Hey, I'm doing all right. Yeah, you mind if I tell you a secret? You know, I actually pay two middle-aged men to put on makeup and throw this stuff at me. It's true. You ever, you ever hear a, like a juggalo, a fago shower? Nah. I it, don't. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what we do, man. We, we, we all paint up like clowns and throw, throw a uh, soda at each other. It's wow. pretty wild, right? Must be. <laughs> it's fun the, though. The way you sang it, it sounded like they enjoyed it. Oh yeah, actually, I really do, honestly, or I wouldn't keep paying them. Remember when you were a kid, what part of you still is, and that's why we drink Fago, Fago, remembers, Fago, dismembers.